Hello and welcome back to another video. So I've got quite an interesting selection of items here to show you. Mostly video game related including some charity shop finds. But before we begin let's just take a look at this classic Led Zeppelin album here, Houses of the Holy. Now this is a re-released and remastered 180 gram vinyl. And obviously with the increasing popularity of record collecting these are becoming more and more popular. And they are quite expensive, £17.99 to be exact, so I can see why certain people have got themselves into a little bit of strife financially with the addition of vinyl record collecting. I'm hoping not to go down that avenue myself. I've really enjoyed it so far because I've literally only got this album and a couple more there, so I've played this to death and grown to love it, which I think is something that we can all relate to just having the option of one thing to listen or play to and get the absolute most out of it. So, very interesting mix of genres this. I've never been the biggest Led Zeppelin fan. I think lyrically, they're not always the best band. Really excelled probably on Led Zeppelin for songs like Stairway to Heaven, Black Dog, California, that kind of thing. But this album's got some really nice guitar work. And as I say, it, it, it feels like a bit of a experimentational thing for Led Zeppelin and I'm all approving of it so really pleased to get that. I think somewhere along the lines I will pick up some more vinyl. Probably go this new route because you don't get the crackle, you don't get the dust build up. It's just a really pleasant experience and actually talking about the analogue sound compared to the digital sound that you get with CDs, it is strikingly different. I feel that instruments sound slightly more natural actually being played on LP than they do on a CD. Um, you know, I think probably that's something that would vary between different people, but as someone who plays an instrument, that, that's the way I feel about it. Although you cannot complain about the convenience of the compact disc. So anyway, let's move away from this audio file talk and move on to what we're all here for, a bit of gaming action. So, Street Racer on the Sega Saturn was actually interested in this because of the scaling and I bought this online, I believe it was about £6 delivered. It's actually a really cool game, very different to other versions of Street Racer, mainly because of the aforementioned sprite scaling and I will definitely be making a extended gameplay video of this at some point. I'm just having a few issues with getting delivery of the final piece of my capture setup. But more on that as and when it either comes or I find an alternative. So moving on to another game here for the Dreamcast, Suzuki Alstair Extreme Racing. Been on the fence about this one for a long long time. Decided to pick up a cheap battered copy. I have changed the case. I believe it was less than four pounds delivered. But once I'd, it was actually in my Dreamcast, once I'd changed the case and that, it looks pretty reasonable. I have to say, this is one of my favourite racing games on the Dreamcast. It's really good, a lot of fun, easy to play. The controls seem a little bit finicky, but weirdly enough, as you progress, the bikes get better and better, and they actually become easier to handle, in my opinion. So, definitely one I'll be making videos about once the capture setup is up and running, but fantastic game well worth picking up, especially for the price it goes for. So last but not least, I actually happened to wander into a charity shop this morning. I was just looking at music CDs, to be honest, maybe if they had some LPs. And I had free GameCube games at 95 pence each, so I thought it'd be rude not to pick them up. So we've got Dancing Stage Mario Mix, and these all look in really nice condition. Obviously, you would require a dance mat with this. I'm pretty sure it's worth more than 95 pence. Next up is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. And of course this one requires the bongos. Again complete and in really nice condition. So I'm not sure if someone just left these behind and took all these Zeldas and Marios or these were just randomly put in there but it was rather early this morning. And last but not least Donkey Konga. So these games are definitely up for trade if anyone's interested. I've not got a GameCube. I've certainly not got any Donkey Konga bongos. But I'm sure someone out there has. 
So that's pretty much it. That's all I've really bought over the last couple of months because most of my money's been spent on getting this capture setup sorted. So with that being said, I want to get the house tidied, get down for the Leicester City game and then get off to a barbecue later on this evening. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll upload some more soon.